I don't know if you guys have ever heard this old saying, and there's variations to it, but basically the grave that you digging for somebody else, you might just fall into it. And the reason why I say that is because um, Tasha K went on this hour long rant against Jaguar Wright last night called basically unwinding the lies, right? And it was sad. It was dark. It felt evil. And for the life of me, I don't understand why she keeps going on and on instead of just taking the L that was due her and moving on with something else. So if you don't know, and I can understand if you just like, you know what, I cannot do her. I get it. But I clicked on it, right? I clicked. And it was so dark. Basically, Tasha K was upset that her audience, her subbies, her winos were dragging her from her interview with Jaguar Wright on Friday. Dragged her so much, in fact, that she lost several thousand subscribers. Okay, you could just little see the little thing ticking down the last several days. She came on, I believe, a couple days back and attempted a half-ass apology, basically saying, if I triggered you guys, I apologize. And next time, I'll just put a warning label on my video if I do this kind of content. Completely missing the point of why people were dragging her in the first place. Completely missing it. So instead of just accepting that it was a terrible interview and accepting that, you know what, people weren't feeling what she did and they left, she decided to take it out on Jaguar Wright last night and dragged her and attempted to expose her and her, you know, sexual abuse allegations, all of that stuff. She just attempted to basically debunk everything that Jaguar Wright has alleged. And it was sad to see. Now, uh, let's, let's unpack, okay, shall we? As you guys know, if you watched my previous video, maybe you have watched the interview between Jaguar Wright and Tasha K. Tasha K, before she did the interview, remember she was kind of like prepping the audience like, man, Jaguar Wright cuss me out, cuss me out. After I watched the interview between her and Jaguar Wright, I wouldn't necessarily even call that a cussing out. I think she got chin checked, right? G check, whatever you want to call it, depending on your region and where you live at, right? In the United States, she got her ass checked. Okay. It was a, it was a, oh, nice, nasty read. She checked her ass and she moved on. I don't necessarily, in my opinion, view it as she cussed her out. And she's, and she still ended it on a, I think on a very um, cordial uh, note. I'm talking about Jaguar, right? Tasha couldn't take that people didn't like what she did, right? Now, I've said before, listen, Je Tasha K has the right to interview whomever she'd like. Now, I, I, we can give her the side eye about it because we know that Storm Monroe has already crossed that bridge several times with, uh, with Jaguar Wright. And it personally, I didn't feel that it was even necessary to even sit down and get anything more out of her, right? Because at the end of the day, if you've watched Storm Rose interviews, you're going to come away with either believing what she said or not. That's with any interview. So Tasha interviewing her or interrogating her, I would call, really was kind of overkill. And it turned more into a interrogation because there was intent behind it. It wasn't, I just want to get to know you a little better. It was, listen, I'm tight with Swiss Beats, Mama, and Alicia Keys reached out to me and blah, 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 blah. So people saw the intent as they moved into the interview and they saw how her line of questioning lined up with the intent which was not just the, oh, I just want to just, I just want to feel you out and see, you know, just, just ask you some personal questions, just dive into 
who is Jaguar Wright? It wasn't like that. You, we saw the intention of it. It was to make her look crazy and to make her out to be a liar so that whatever she said about these celebrities would naturally be like, well, she got to be lying because she's lying about this. So she got to be lying. She is a liar and make her out to look like a crazy woman. You kept pushing and pushing and pushing about mental health and mental health. And she chin checked your ass. That's when it happened. She checked you. That's what happened. And you didn't like the fact that the audience just wasn't feeling what you did. So instead of taking the L and saying, you know what? It was a bad interview. It was just not good. Instead of just taking it and moving on and people would have just been like, you know, if you still rock with Tasha, it's like, oh, okay, da, 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 da. that was terrible. Moving on. No, you decided you had to get on your page, your main uh, page, your main channel and basically try to uh, debunk this woman and what she has alleged, including her own allegations of sexual abuse. How dare you? How dare you? Listen, there are a lot of us, and I said us, there are a lot of us who have been abused as, um, at a, you know, as a, as a child, as an adolescent, and if you were to ask me, well, how many times did it happen? When did it, I know that it happened. I couldn't sit here and tell you every single time, but that don't mean that I'm lying. And that's what you did. You made it seem like she was a liar. And that was sick. And that was twisted. And you allowed your ego to get in the way of what that interview was. Instead of just taking the loss and the taking the L and say, you know what? I it was just a bad interview because sometimes bad interviews happen. See, Tasha, you keep calling yourself a journalist and I'm offended for all the journalists out there because at the end of the day, sometimes interviews aren't going to go your way. Look what happened with Leslie Stahl on 60 Minutes and, and, and Donald Trump walked out on her. Walk, just walked out. Okay, left her with a big ass book of, of a health plan, but walked out on her. Sometimes interviews will not go the way you want to, but at the end of the day, you ask the questions, whether they be tough or not, and the chips fall where they may. It is up to the audience to decide if they believe it or if they don't. But you got on your platform and you tried to pretty much call her a liar last night. It's, I mean, and then I was thinking to myself, I kept saying to myself, did, 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 did Jaguar Wright say something? Did she drag Tasha? Because I follow Jaguar Wright on Instagram and she ain't said nothing. So I was just like, where is this coming from? She has said nothing. Matter of fact, she was, when people were dragging you, on her channel a few days ago, after the, they saw the interview, she was still nice about it. She still wasn't doing that with you. So I don't understand why are you doing this? Are you, was it just, I, I can imagine losing that many subscribers in a few days. I mean, thousands left. It was a mass exodus. But that's not okay to take it out on Jaguar right. And the reason why people were upset, not because you interviewed her. We side-eye you about that interview because Storm already did it. But you had a right to interview her and you do have the right to push back on some stuff she said, right? Jaguar Wright is not so untouchable that, that people can't ask her, well, you know, what about what you said about Mary J. Blige? What about what you said about Jill Scott? She can be pushed back on. And I think she would even accept that. She would be even willing to follow up with that. But that's not what you did. You attempted, your slant was going in trying to make this woman to be a liar. And when the audience saw it and they didn't like it, instead of you just saying, you know what, that was just, I shouldn't have gone in that way. All right. I had intent. I need to admit that I had intent because I already said that Alicia Keys never reached out to me. Instead of doing that, instead of just apologizing to Jaguar and how you approached her sexual abuse allegations, no. No, you just said, if I triggered somebody, if you start an apology with if, it's trash. It's automatically trash, Tasha. And I, I, I just, I, I don't understand. I just didn't understand what the point of going off on Jaguar Wright did other than make more people want to leave you alone. Because this was dark and it was evil and it was unnecessary, okay? The whole point of interviewing, there is an exchange you can certainly ask hard questions 
It was how you did it. It was how you did it, Tasha. And you refused to acknowledge it was how you did it. It was how you said it. It was how you were looking as she's talking. You refused to accept that and accept the criticism that came with a terrible interview. When Listen, you have done terrible interviews before. Let's not sit here and act like this is the first bad interview, but this was really bad. But there have been interviews before where it's like all of a sudden Jaguar's lying, but why are you even push back a little bit more on Foxy Brown's niece who turned out not to be Foxy Brown's niece? I would say the interview with T-Pain's mistress. You, but you didn't drag her. You've had other people on your platforms. You didn't drag them like you did this woman. And this woman was only nice to you. This was so sad. This was just sad. And I, and, and I just, we just don't get it, Tasha. We just don't understand it. So those people that were still holding that hope that maybe she was a different person, she's not. She's not. The fact that you sit here and you're like, well, why are you exposing people, Tasha? That's what you do. You expose people. That is your platform to expose people's business. So what makes you or Jaguar Wright any different except that you say allegedly? She started saying allegedly. But you still, y'all both expose people. Now, listen, everything that Jag White Wright has said, I don't necessarily believe, but there's been a lot of stuff that she absolutely has said that's been on the money. Okay, you talked about Tevin Campbell and what she said. She was actually right. Tevin Campbell was arrested for solicitation. That's not wrong. She was right. She was absolutely right in that. But you sitting here trying to debunk her, debunk her, you know, her, her sexual abuse allegations, which is just sad, which is just sad in itself, Okay. And, and again, acting like uh, her exposing these celebrities is any different than what you do, right? You try to come on here and expose people all the time. Listen, I can't stand the car to be, can't stand the ass. But there's been plenty of times where I just thought that you went too far and you didn't have no receipts to back it up and you were debunked. And you admitted that some of the stuff was bullshit. That ain't right. That ain't even right. So what's different? What is different? And, and, and furthermore, we were just trying to tell you to leave it alone. Those of us that was like commenting said, Tasha, just leave it alone. Storm already did this. He already crossed that path. If there's anything else to get out of um, Jaguar, right? Let him say it. Let him ask her questions. But you didn't do that. You decided to micromanage and, and to basically step on his interview. So basically what you did last night, Tasha, whether you want to admit it or not, is by trying to debunk and call her a liar. You basically just stepped on your, well, your former mentee's interviews because now you're saying that everything he has had on his platform when it came to his exchange between Jaguar Wright and himself is a lie. It's trash. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I, I just don't get it and I don't understand it. But you know what? As I said at the be beginning, you sit here and try to dig a hole for somebody, you find yourself falling in. And you allowing this to happen because of your ego. You wouldn't even allow yourself. Your ego wouldn't even allow you to say, you know what? I fucked up. I did. That was a terrible interview. Jaguar Wright, I apologize to you. You know what? I am skeptical about some of the things that you said, but we can have a conversation about that. And if you're willing to come back to me, if you're willing to have a talk about it, let's talk about it. You know, we can have a give and take because I am, I want to ask you about this because I'm just not so sure. I wonder about that. I think she would have done that. She would have done it. But you didn't do that. Now you made, Now you got on here and called this woman a liar. So whatever she says after the fact, however she responds, just be ready. And she might not even say shit. She just might let it alone. And you the one that looks like a fool. You the one that looks stupid at the end of the day. You the one, Tasha. Because this was so unprovoked. Listen, trying to make somebody out to be crazy to help your little celebrity friends, that's not okay. That's not okay. Okay, because that's what you attempted to do in that interview and people saw right through it. Just accept that the people didn't like the interview. It was just not done well. It just wasn't. And that happens. Move on. Learn from it. But don't attack people for that. Don't attack them. But that's what you did. And people see right through it. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure that she's still going to be ranting and raving about this. But at the end of the day, Tasha... You just showed yourself and you show who you are. You show who you are by this. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Um, I just saw that and I just wanted to rant myself about this situation. 
I'm done with it, y'all. See you guys on my next video. And it ain't gonna be about Tasha K. Bye.